Good morning. Hope you are having a good Sunday morning. It's early. I've got uh, some potatoes on boiling for mashed potatoes later on today. Actually, I'll make them this morning and put them in the oven and keep them warm and we'll eat an early dinner tonight. Mashed potatoes, chicken liver, and fried okra. Anyway, I am having my breakfast. I'm telling you, if you haven't watched my video on making these biscuits, you're missing out if you like if you like good biscuits. These are blueberry, buttermilk blueberry biscuits. Homemade. Takes three ingredients. If you want to know everything how I did it, uh, just watch my video. I've got a video on my YouTube channel. But it's self-rising flour, buttermilk, and blueberries. How simple can that be? Anyway, I'm going to have my breakfast this morning. I've just got butter on them. There, there's nothing else needed. I mean, just melted butter on that. Uh, it, it's goodness. Is all. I heated them up in the microwave this morning, along with my cup of mud. So, anyway, I hope y'all have a good Sunday, and I'll check with y'all later this afternoon. Welcome back. Let's check these potatoes and see if they're done. You can use a sharp knife for a my mother always used a butter knife. She said if a sharp knife would go in any time, but a butter knife, if it slides in, they're ready. So, oh yeah. Yeah, they're, they're fine. They're breaking apart. You know kind of when they're getting ready because the water's going to get murky from the release in the starches. So let me drain these right quick, and I'll be right back with you. All right, back with you. Let me get these potatoes. You see, I've got them in my collar. Actually, it's just an old, it's an old fry basket. It works great for this, so. Let me just get my hands. I'm so dead burn weak in my wrist after last year. I put my pot back on the stove and the burner's off though. I turned uh, a little bit from Big Man that missed the pot. I, when I was dumping these, I looked at the bottom. It's Guardian there. I need to look it up and see what the name of this. I think I looked it up and they said it came with a lid. I don't know that my mother ever had a lid. It was probably handed down. Anyway, this is how I do my mashed potatoes. I put them back in the hot pot. You can see it's steaming, which is great. That's what you want. You want them to dry out. You don't want them to have a lot of water in them. Yeah, you know, I, I take maybe a third of a stick of butter. You can always add more butter. Butter. You can always add more butter. Butter, butter, butter. And then I take evaporated milk. And I splash just a little bit of it in there. Wife's up and came in here a while ago and got her coffee. It's an easy Sunday morning. So I'll take my tater masher. I mean, this is real old school potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Not instant. It's the real deal. Ain't nothing wrong with instant. Believe me, I've cooked plenty of them. But there's just something about a Sunday dinner when you're having fried liver and fried okra. And yeah, the okra I cook does not have a lot of breading on it. I mean, just a, a little bit of cornmeal. You can see this is just coming up in, in clouds of, of goodness. Yum. I might add a little salt to it. I cooked those, and I don't know if I told you, but they, it was, they were boiled in salty water. Come on. Here, I'll be like Justin Wilson. There's a fourth a teaspoon. There you go. Or be like Emerald. Bam! You can tell it's early. I've got energy. And I like black pepper, so does my wife. And this is just for her and I. 
dinner is this evening. So a little bit of that. It's going to take a little bit more milk. You know, don't get in a hurry. If if you got to get in a hurry to do this, you can buy you can buy mashed potatoes already made. They're not the same. They don't taste the same. But you can buy them already made. But if you want a really truly good mashed potato, and these are not whipped, I, I've got a blender. I could put it in there. It's just something about a mashed potato. I would when I I would play this song on YouTube. Do the mashed potato, but YouTube will not let me do that. And they'll throw a strike against me if I put it up there. So, and I'd sing it except it'd run all y'all off. So, all right, all right, all right. It's getting there. A little bit more. All right, That's probably, that may be my last dance right there. I've got a taster spoon here somewhere. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's check these. I think it's going to need a little bit more meal. Maybe a little bit more butter. Mmm. Goodness. That's like really good. It doesn't need any more salt. It's nice and creamy. Everything you want in a mashed potato. All right. I'm gonna put just a little bit more milk because it's early on Sunday morning. By the time we eat these, I don't want them to, to absorb it. You know, I don't want them to be dry. I want them to be thin. There you go. Let me go get a spoon. All right, I'm back with you. I've got a spatula to get this out of here. I burnish. It's warm, but it's not. It's not going to do anything. So let me get this over here. I don't want to waste any of this. Sorry about the noise. It's too good to waste. It's talking about singing the mashed potato a while ago. Uh, when I was young, I was in the fifth grade, and I had I was in a little band, my cousin and I think Hank Carroll, and these are guys I went to school with, and maybe Lonnie Palmer. I think he was our drummer. And at our school, Argyle School, we had hoot nannies. It was in the gym. We had a gym. That one end was the kitchen, and there was a stage in between. And uh, it was a little bitty school. I mean, it, it was a four room schoolhouse, which was a separate building. One my dad had gone to school in. And in that four rooms, we had four teachers, and they taught eight grades. We only went to the eighth grade, no high school. So anyway, on, on, we had a hoot nanny, and it was to raise money to, you know, I don't know, buy a bus, or I, I don't remember what it was for. But the little group I was playing in, uh, that was my first time to get up and sing in front of anybody. I'd been taking a few guitar lessons, and I couldn't learn music. I, it just, being dyslexic, I, I, nobody, I didn't even know it, but my parents didn't know it. Uh, they uh, just gave me some lessons. I learned six chords, and that was it. Let me put. Let me finish this off here. Let me make a smile here. Oh yeah, that's gonna be some good stuff, boys and girls. So we have our hoot nanny, my little band, and I don't even know if we had a name. I just we were in the fifth and sixth grade. And I was the lead singer, and I was playing a 53, gosh, I wish I still had it, a 53 junior. It was a hollow body, single pickup, sunburst, Gibson guitar. I can't remember the model number. I bought it from a blind guy and gave $40 for it. 
he got a new one. So anyway, we're we had been practicing and, and you know doing our stuff and my song that night and I wish someone I don't we don't have you know videos or I don't I don't have a video of it anyway, but I would love to see myself. Uh, we were um, let me get up here. Uh, my song that evening at the Hoot Nanny. Just that burn thing around here. My song that night, I was, we were playing country music. This is in the early, early 60s. Uh, it was Your Cheating Heart by Hank Williams. And uh, I belted out Your Cheating Heart. <laughs> I was 10 years old. And I don't think I knew what a Your Cheating Heart was, except I liked this song. And we played that song to the fullest. And I would love to have a video of it, that hoot nanny with us and uh, you know there was also several grown-up bands that came and played and because if it was just us they would give they wouldn't even get a nickel but we were part of the show anyway anyway times in the past and so there's my there's my master taters so yes I can I, I could sing in the, in the old days I could sing anyway but I, I, I don't think I ever sang Do the Mashed Potato. By then, we were we were doing Jimi Hendrix stuff, The Doors, and uh, rock music by then. It didn't take me long to convert, probably about one year. I think the Beatles made it to America, and I converted at that point. So y'all have a good morning. I'm going to get these and uh, let them cool down, put some wrap over them, put them in the fridge. That'll be way more than my wife can I can eat at one time. But we'll either eat the leftovers with mashed potatoes. If not, I'll add an egg to it, a little flour. We'll fry them up, put a little onion in it, and garlic, and make potato patties. I, I think, the, I don't know, there's another name for that. Mother always called them potato patties. Boy, they're so good. So, y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all back later on when I'm frying some okra up and then getting ready to fry up the chicken liver.